Chelsea Heat Live. That is your final score. That is your series talent. 88, 65. It is a final. 3-1 as the Heat return home for a Wednesday night date with destiny. It could be the end of the series. Ex they ex happened exactly the way you noted. Well, we talked about how they have to rotate well, close out on the shooters. Don't let the guys get to the rim. You see the, the uh, Bosch right there, not letting Robinson get in there. The traps on the uh, guys coming off the pick and rolls. You get your hands up to make the pass tough. You can steal it. Then you got it again right there. And then the pass inside of Mario Chalmers rotates. That was a lucky pass right across, and then he wind up stealing it again anyway. So we talked about not letting the, uh, the guy that, that tries to uh, go against the double team. Nate Robinson tried to split at that time. We talked about making them go backwards mm -hmm. with their, with their uh, dribbling. A lot of the things that we talked about, it was textbook defense by the Heat early in the game that took Chicago right out of it, took the heart out of the crowd because there was really no boisterous crowd tonight. And uh, just a great job. Like I said, everything contested. Coming off the screen right here, look what you have. How far back they are. Yeah, and then it results in a LeBron dunk at the other end. And so that's the way the Heat have lived all year, three years with these All-Stars. Picturesque defense. Oh. What a, you know, an awful night for Robinson. Uh, you know, one, one, one thing we got to admit that, you know, they're, they're very tired, this team. They played with only five, six, seven guys with the other guys out. And uh, the Heat wore them down now in this series for the last four games. We'll start to panic a little bit. They, the Heat do not panic. All they do is, is regroup, get better, improve things that they didn't do well. They, did, they had the blowout in game two. Game three was 70-70 going into the fourth quarter, and they outscored them. The Heat did 34-24. And then tonight, it was just a, the Heat had the lead from the beginning. From right, right from the start, you had Chris Bosh making his jumpers. The Heat playing very good defense. Bulls fighting uphill all night to try to catch up the Heat. You got the post-ups inside by LeBron. Anytime they front LeBron inside, the Heat is so smart. They find the uh, triangle pass. They find the right guy to pass to it. You know, the, the, the right guy to pass it inside to uh, LeBron. And uh, that was the real deal tonight. Thanks, Jax, here at the United Center with Heat co-captain and warrior Udonis Aslam. Udonis, a convincing defensive performance from start to finish. How good did this feel? I mean, uh, you know, it felt real good, but uh, we still got work to do. We didn't play a perfect game. Still was a little sloppy with turnovers, but um, we talked about coming out with intensity, playing with a desperation early, and I think we did that. What Tell us the, the keys to the Heat great defensive effort tonight. Um, like I said, playing desperate. Um, you know, we got to come in with a desperate feel. Uh, you know, we knew they were going to play like that, so we had to match that. 4-0 on the road in the playoffs, and now you got a chance to close this team out. What are you thinking about for, for Game 5 Wednesday? Um, you know, just correcting our mistakes, watching our film, uh, seeing where we can get better. Obviously, taking care of the ball offensively, had too many turnovers, and continue to try to keep these guys off the glass. This is a dangerous team, so um, we got to come prepared. Udonis, you did it. I know you and your teammates want one more to move on. Thank you. All right, thanks to Udonis Haslam. Back to Jax and the coach. Yes, you, you yeah. draw strength from the guy. Yeah, you do. Because you just know he's always there. Dwayne Wade hurts his uh, knee, and uh, what happens? LeBron comes back into the game in that second quarter, and then he take off again. It doesn't matter what you do with him, he figures it out. He can pass the ball. That's what he does best. He sees over the defense. Yeah. He reads things before they happen. What was Nate doing right he there? Create, yeah, he <laughs> creates in the air. He can make the three-point shot. He can post you up. He can defend everybody one through five. If you need a hot dog, he'll go get it before the timeout's over. Whatever you want, he's got it. All of the day where he was named first team. All NBA, fifth straight year in a row for that. I think that's why he's focusing on a defensive player here. Watch out for game two, and it's carried over two, three, and four. He's so mentally strong. He keeps an even keel when he's not playing well. He doesn't get too high when he is playing well. He does so many things well. He blocks shots. He has some more blocked shots tonight, three at halftime. And uh, he, when he's making the J, uh, Jacks, I'm not sure there's a, there's a team on the planet that can do it. Because he, he has such a dimension yeah. when he opens up the middle. The big's got to go out there. Now, Noah is first team all defense, NBA, one of the best big men in the league. And Chris Bosh totally got the better of him in the last three games. Shot, got his legs under him. Early, I thought maybe he was, uh, he, he didn't get the lift that he did to expect him to have. And mostly that comes from the jump shot, the mid-range shot. You got to have your legs to shoot Jays. And he didn't get the lift that he was at. Hitting the front, hitting the front of the rim means you're not getting the, the lift from your legs. But later on, he really came on. 
We, we know that he plays a good, uh, a good floor game. He's always playing in the passing lanes. He can defend. Right here is where he gets hurt. He's going to limp off to the sideline. He may have banged knees right there. That may, hopefully that's what it was, because that's, that's usually not so bad. But then when he came back, you know, LeBron went in at that point. He got a good lead at halftime, and then he, he got a good, good dunk on that play, you know, good, good lift on that with, from a LeBron pass. He filled the lane real well. And then if he's making the J like that, that means he's got that, that feeling back in his leg. He's got the lift, as we talked about, talk about. And we know when he's hitting his mid-range shot, Dwayne Wade is impossible to guard. <laughs> He'll take you off the dribble in a second, throw it down on you. And, and I did not have a good statistical game, but the second half was better than the first. And they get into the fast break. And we know that what a great fast breaking team this is. LeBron and D. Wade are two of the best, maybe the two best guys on the same team in the NBA getting up the floor in the open court. Mm. Either one of those guys going one on two, sometimes one on three on the move, just taking it to the basket, drawing the foul, finishing the play, and just punishing the, the, the opponent off of their defensive uh, pressure at the other end. And so just a great job by the Heat getting the easy baskets. And then that also deflates the opponent and uh, it cuts into their psyche with it. You're just telling them, look, you're not winning this game tonight. And the players make. We talked about the high IQ of this basketball team. They respect the game plan. Coach Bolster and his coaches made the adjustments. Nate Robinson in one game was 3 for 10. Tonight, I believe he was, what, 0 for 12 from the floor? 0 for 12 from the floor, 0 for 5 from the three-point line. He had turnovers. They have totally taken him out of his game. Do you remember Westbrook in the playoffs last year? I think yeah. he had 44 in one game, 4 for 20 the next. Rondo had 41, 42, did nothing in the next game to hurt the, team, the Heat. They make these subtle adjustments in practice. The, 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 uh, his, the players respond. The IQ of the team is so high that they understand what the coaches are telling them when they make these adjustments. And so it's a combination of doing the right thing against the opponent and then just uh, infiltrating or just uh, inf uh, using the uh, game plan that it, they are giving them defensively. That last picture there tells everything about Nate tonight right there. Do it! Yeah, you did! <laughs> I mean, that is a trip. Oh, my, no, he's done it again. Oh, Dwayne, and so proud, so proud of those polka dot free <laughs> fans. Thank you, LeBron, for being there. There's Nate. There is Bosch. Game face. Another Bosch baby coming. But first, Bosch daddy. First quarter from the corner. That man made seven of ten shots. That's one of them. And then Bosch doing it. He had 12 points in the first half, by the way. Then LeBron cutting. Rio found him. Rio had three assists in this game. And then now LeBron and Bosch will get them together. LeBron had eight assists. That is a cram right there. The Heat up 2015 after one. And then, Coach, they started to push the game to the edges in the second quarter. The other guys got in the mix there. You got Battier with his only three of the game. And then you'll see Ray Allen get his only three of the game. And so those guys added to it. You stretch the defense, they make the Jays, and other guys take over with the defense. Six of 18 went in from the three-point land. This is all my son's move of the game right here. That's just great defense. And then it's breakaway time. And then just cram it in the boot. Nine of 20 went in for LeBron. This one was high percentage. And then LeBron just come on in, as a wise man once said. They're just spinning and spinning and spinning. Been and Nate, you got no shot and one basketball. LeBron had 27 points, and that was fun. <laughs> where's where's Noah? Yeah, that's dejection. And then LeBron, I'm going to the locker room. I need something to drink. 44-33 at the break to the third quarter. Bulls struggling. Nate Robinson, the miss. He he missed all 12 of his shots. And then Wade, fast break. Action! Throws it down. And then from there, coach, it just started to disintegrate for Chicago, didn't it? Well, you know, with the Heat defense being what it is, suffocating this team, you know, we know they only shot 26% for the game. They got tired. The Heat defense is designed to wear down the opponent. So even shots they normally make when they're open, toward the end of the game, very often they throw balls away like that. It's all from the mental fatigue. Their legs are not there, and they uh, they just give in to the to the, uh, the, the relentless pressure that they have. And there's Norris Cole hitting that three going into the fourth quarter. And there it is, and let's go to the bird, man. The password is rejection. He had two blocks in the game. The Miami Heat had nine in all, and then a little love from the bench. Yes, sir. 
and then an accidental basket. But I, I believe Chris gets credit for that. Oh, Two yeah. of three went in for the bird, man. He was perfect five for five from the free throw line. Call, call. And that's it. That's yeah. enough. That would be the only way you and I would score, I'll tell you that. Oh, no, we could, I can post up. Yeah. You know I, 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 I Give me Nate on my hip. I got you. Oh, boy, if I had Nate on, no, he's Yep. So that's going to do it, party people. It was an onslaught from the beginning, and I'm not talking about those pants. Get that off my screen. <laughs> the Bulls had an idea to try to make this thing a little bit tighter, but the Heat, they weren't having it. Sure, an extra layoff, but it didn't mean that they laid off. They came in, got out to an early lead, kept it at the half, a very symmetrical 44, 44 point performance in each half of this game. LeBron James was amazing. Kudos once again to his fifth straight first team all defense NBA team. And it was a offensive and defensive explosion for LeBron James. The Miami Heat, they return back to Miami Wednesday. We'll see you on heat.com and Sun Sports. Well, once again, for the coach, Tony Fiorentino, John Crotty, Eric Reed, our entire Heat TV team, and Sun Sports, I am Jason Jackson. Thanks so much for watching. It's closeout time on Wednesday night. Thank <laughs> you.